welcome to VN production in this video I am going to show you how to print and scan using the OTG in Epson using Epson L3110 click on the scan button now click on the gear button now click on scanner as you can see that we cannot find our scanner as it's not a Wi-Fi printer so there is an alternative for this method so now let's go back after that click on document capture take a document and click on capture now we have successfully captured the image now let's adjust the image now if you click on adjust you can now adjust or crop the image as much as you want click on proceed now there are three options in which you can click on enhanced more enhanced and unenhanced now enhanced is enough now let's click on the preview click on yes here you can rotate the document if you want you can even adjust the document size you get a wide variety of sizes from which you can select now you can print the photo this is a good alternative to the scanning option now let's click on the gear button you, as you can see that we get a lot of options in which you can play around with the option copies. you get uh, how many copies if you want to print you can adjust the paper size you can uh, click on media type like black and white or envelope and all now you also get the color option black and white or uh, color you can adjust from there now let's go back and click on the print button Now let's see how you can print documents. You can print documents like images and PDF. For this example, I'll click on an image. Now if you click on the gear button, you get a lot of options, but we will directly click on the print. As you can see that we have successfully printed the document now you can even print from cloud like if you have a document in Google Drive you can directly connect to the Google Drive and and then print the document now let's see the print photo option now if you click on a print photo option you can select any photo that you want now let's select a photo now let's click on next and then you can print this photo now let's click on the setting button as you can see that you get a lot of options from from which you can select now let's select a size click on done you can even adjust the sharpness you can select the color type black and white or color you can even select the borders if you want borderless you can select the size of the border now let's click on the done button now let's click on print as you can see that we have successfully printed the photo now you cannot scan using the scan option in the app as it's not a Wi-Fi printer now if you have watched this video till end make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos thanks for watching if you have any doubt or anything else you can just comment below this video